going on guys? Welcome to NBA Front Page, your source for NBA rumors and gossip. We bring you the headlines from around the association that you really want to know. And I'm Angelica. Well, we'll get started today with the Lakers receiving their championship rings during the season opener. Check out the ring that Dr. Jerry Buss got. It is crazy, isn't it? And Kobe is loving his too. That's why the Lakers ring is in our background this week. So, Charlie Villanueva is giving a tutorial on fantasy basketball. He took to Twitter to break down the basics. Fantasy sports have grown more popular each year, but Charlie wanted to make sure everybody was up to speed. Check out how he broke it down on our website. Now let's check in with Davey for this week's 20 second timeout. Davey? Okay guys, last week we kind of made history. We kicked off our blog with huge success. So thanks to all of you who participated, who subscribed, who liked, who YouTube, all of that. Now this week we are kicking off our column section. Angelica has a column, I have a column, and coming up some former players will chime in on our column as well. Mm-hmm, you like? Well this week I'm going to be talking about Twitter. Do you like when players Twitter? Do you like the information that's spread from them? Well, we kind of do here at NBA Front Page, and I'm going to rank my top five players who tweet. So make sure you join the discussion right here on NBAFrontPage.com. Okay, back to you, Angelica. Thanks, Davey. Sasha Vujicic, seen here with girlfriend and tennis star Maria Sharapova, are now engaged. Congratulations. They may become one of our favorite couples one day. The Knicks with Amari respond to the Nets billboard near Madison Square Garden by placing an ad near the Manhattan Bridge stating, Brooklyn represent. Are the Knicks trying to cover the Nets territory for the next two years? And is Magic Johnson really interested in a stake of an NFL team in Los Angeles? In the meantime, he's out chilling with Snoop Dogg. There's more magic on our blog at NBAfrontpage.com. This week in NBA history on November 1st, 2000, Paul Pierce opened the season with 28 points, leading the Celtics to a win over the Pistons. It was Pierce's first game since being stabbed multiple times on September 25th of that year. We are so glad to see that Paul is doing just fine these days. Now don't forget to join our fan zone at NBAfrontpage.com and check out all the fan photos. This week's fan photo is Amari and the Knicks dancers starting the day off great with a few lucky students. Be sure to keep sending in your fan photos to use right here on NBA Front Page. We just have three rules. It must be yours. Format it in GIF or JPEG. And finally, don't forget to leave me your name and city. Well, that's all I've got for this week. We'll leave you with LeBron's new What Should I Do ad from Nike. Join Jay Hillsman as he talks about it in our forum at NBAfrontpage.com. And don't forget to cast your vote on NBA commercials in this week's poll. Remember, this season you can catch us everywhere. iTunes, YouTube, Facebook, you name it. Tune in next week for more headlines from around the association that you really want to know. For NBA Front Page, I'm Angelica. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Should I have my tattoo removed? Want to see my shiny new shoes? Should I just sell shoes? Shiny new shoes? Ah! Or should I tell you I am not a role model? Hi, Chuck. Seriously, what should I do? Should I tell you I'm a championship chaser? Did it for the money? Rings? Should I be who you want me to be? Should I accept my role as a villain? Maybe I should just disappear.